Hi there, here is a small video tutorial on how to calculate the projection area or the frontal area of a geometry which undergoes a fluid flow simulation. Well, um, in my case, I want to calculate the projection area of a car, so I will do the same using Paraview. Inside Paraview, I will open my geometry, um, which is in the tri surface folder. And after opening the STL file, I can view a car. Well, the projection area is nothing but the, the area which the incoming flow sees, that is this. And the force coefficients are calculated for this particular area for a distance known as the wheelbase length. Well, um, let's set a particular direction or projection which is required to calculate the force um, coefficients. There is an icon over here called the set view direction to press x. This is a um, tilted view but regardless all that we require is uh, the projection area. And now in order to select this area we click on this icon called the uh, select cell zone. Select the icon, drag a box across for the selection to take place. And once the selection is done, we'll have to extract the selection. That is done by using the another icon, which is called Extract Selection. And I click Apply. So now your projection area is reduced to something like this. And you don't see the entire car geometry, but only that which is required to calculate the projection uh, force coefficients. So now we have to um, still do another transformation which is to get the same projection area which is 3D and um, transform it to a 2D so that it will be convenient for us to calculate the value of the projection area. So now let's go back to setting the um, view which we did previously and now you have to do a transformation and that can be done by searching for a tool called the transformation tool which is the transform icon and click on it mm, and then there is one value that you have to change that is the scaling factor in the x direction alone so bring it down to say 1 e to the power minus 10 or let's say 5 and then click apply and you realize that your projection area is now converted into a 2D. So now let's get the specific value of our projection area. And in order to do that, let's check, let's click another icon or a tool called the integrate variables. So you click on integrate variables and um, click apply and there you see the projection area 0 0.283107 so this area is the actual area which is crucial for you to calculate your force coefficients and this goes directly into your force coefficients file inside your system folder or if you are using any other software um, this will be your projection area that's pretty much about it.